Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on the cream stains from Makeup Geek. I actually just finished doing a tutorial on her foiled lips and eyes. In fact, I still have the foiled lip and some of the foiled eye on. So if you want to see some more Makeup Geeks, you'll have to check out my other videos. Um, so I love Marlena and I love her creative team. I think they do a fantastic job. And um, so they came out with the cream stain version of her lippies. So she's she's had several different um, brands, or not brands, several different types roll out this year, and I've jumped on all of them. The reason why I'm so late to the game with my videos is I moved. And so when you move, um, it really creates a hectic piece to your life. Who knew? Um, so I'm a little late with these videos and for any of those makeup geek followers like myself I'm sorry that I'm getting these this these videos out late to you. I meant well I did I did but let's um, Without any further ado, let's get into talking about these cream stains. So these um, makeup geek came out with um, Several different types. There's actually 18 and these are long-lasting limited edition cream stains. The Showstopper cream stain singles are $12 a piece, or you can get all 18 shades, eye-catching shades at that, for $150. So um, you also might want to check out her website, MakeupGeek.com, because she has some full face bundles where she pairs some of her eyeshadows, her lippies and um, some blushes in like a travel vault. So if you don't have any creativity like myself, peeking on her website to put together her colors is absolutely a must. So let's get started in some of these cream stain swatches. We're gonna go in, she has a lot of purples and pinks and then she has some nudes and reds. So we're gonna just go in really dark and hard with our first one and this one is called the Electric Slide. Um, it almost looks black, but it is a purplish color. So let's see how these swatch. It would help if I had the applicator right. So this first color is called Electric Slide. I did go over a little bit back and forth with it to get a nice um, kind of continuous look. It is. It does not come out as dark as what is in the bottle, so I was real excited about that because I thought Electric Slide is looks really, really dark, almost black. So it's nice to get a dark purple shade. Um, Oh, but not quite black. So this was actually a great surprise that it's lighter than what is actually in the bottle. Cream stains these are. Um, I started really dark and to get these off is a little difficult. So that is awesome because that means they're going to stay throughout the day. The next color we have is Charleston and I love that all these names are like different dances or types of dancing. So here we have Charleston, and Charleston looks like a nice winery color. Um, I do love my wine, so absolutely love that. And you might even want to pair it with some of the lighter colors like arabesque and do um, kind of an ombre lip. So you can actually pair these and really have some fun with the colors. So that's just taking a little bit of the arabesque on the middle and making an ombre look. So since we talked about arabesque, let's try that color next. I think arabesque could be really great for a pink look. It almost reminds me of a Barbie look for some reason, um, but I do like it's got um, maybe some fuchsia undertones. I don't know. It's kind of, it's an interesting pink that um, I normally wouldn't pick up myself, but now that I have it, 
I'm gonna have to create a look just around this color arabesque. This is really interesting. The next color we have is called Grapevine. Ooh, another winery color. Watch out, wineries, here I come. I have new lip colors. This next color is gonna get ya. It is called Twerk, and it is green. And I definitely missed the opportunity to wear this on St. Patty's Day or Cinco de Mayo. What other holidays? Ooh, Christmas could be green. All right, the next color we're gonna try is Mambo. And I always think of that song, Mambo number five. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna sing. Let's see how Mambo does. So Mambo is a really pretty um, magenta fuchsia kind of pink. Um, a lot of fun, picks up or is very bright on my white skin. Um, so that's kind of fun. All right, the next color we're gonna try is the Moonwalk. And people my age know exactly what the Moonwalk is. For you young kids, you may want to look it up. Ooh, I like the moonwalk. This is another really pretty one I'm going to have to pull off to the side. I haven't had a chance to wear these um, yet. I wanted to do kind of a swatch test before I put these to the test, but I'm going to pull that one off to the side along with a few of these other ones because I really like that color pink. Um, I'm not one that normally wears pink because it doesn't look good on my skin tone, but I could do me some moonwalk. The next color up is called Cha 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 Cha. These names are just so freaking adorable. Okay, for someone that doesn't really like pinks, I'm really enjoying these. Um, so this color here again is called Cha Cha, and this is another fun kind of pink. I don't know if maybe I'm just growing um, as far as makeup goes, or if I'm finding pinks I finally like. I don't know, but this is exciting. Okay, now we're into a nice mauve tone, and it's called Bunny Hop. So let's see how this bunny hops on these lips. That's actually kind of a nice color too. Um, again, I'm not much into mauves or pinks, but I'm having a great time. I think I can do a look with this one also. Hmm. Now we're gonna get into the kind of more nude and orangey red colors. So let's see if those are as much fun as the pinks and purples have been. I was totally not expecting me to love the pinks like I did. Um, and the purples are always fun. All right, we're gonna start with a dark one, and this one is called Flamenco. So that makes me want to do a sultry dance. This almost reminds me of like a chili color. Very pretty. I like this one. This this could be another fun look for me. Man, I've got so many looks to cut um, to create just off these lipsticks alone. This is so much fun. Next, I think this color is going to be fun during um, probably more fall, and it's called salsa. 
Ooh, I don't know. This could be a good spring and summer color too. All right, this is salsa. Next, we're gonna go in with tango. Oh, this looks bright. Oh, it is bright. All right, this is a bright color. Um, I think I like it. Surprisingly, I would not necessarily just pick this up and say, ooh, I want to try this. Um, that's why sometimes buying bundles is good because it forces you to try colors you don't know for sure. This is fun. I would like to see my skin with a little bit more of a thick tan. Um, I think that would be even more fun. So as light as my skin is, I mean, it really does pop and it is kind of fun. I need a definite different eye color with this one. But I think for ladies that have a prettier skin tone than what I have, this one's going to look amazing on you. I, again, I don't know that I would have ever picked that up myself. But, um, now again, doing some ombre lips, I'm gonna just take Jitterbug while I have that in front of me and um, see if we tone that down a little bit in the middle. And that can be fun too. So a lot of these colors you can actually mix and match um, as far as doing an ombre lip. Um, and so that also is fun that these colors work so well together. But let's try Jitterbug all on its own. All right, so Jitterbug is like a salmon color, not as bright and in your face as the last one called Tango that I put on. Um, but for the spring look, I can see where this could be a very fun color to use. And this one's called Jitterbug. It's funny that um, this color has this name because my great grandma used to do teach us how to dance and one of them was the Jitterbug and her nail polish color that she used to love was close to this. So um, this one actually is near and dear to my heart just because it reminds me of my great grandma. And luckily for me, my great grandma was alive until I was about 22. So I have a lot of fond memories when it comes to her. So I think the color Jitterbug is gonna be extra special to me. All right, so next we're going to try Foxtrot. So Foxtrot is a nice nude color, a little on the peachy side, but it um, this is going to be great. It I've got really dark eyes on today, so it's kind of a nice nudie peach color to offset the dark on my eyes. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so now we're going to try Curtsy. Curtsy reminds me of biting into a peach. So this is a really lovely light color also. I like the nude, but I like the fact that it has a peach tone. So that is really fun. Um, again, having a dark eye, this peach color looks, um, kind of grounds the darker eye. And so I do like that combination. Now we have do -si do Okay, so that reminds me back in fifth grade when we used to have to do um, square dancing. do -si do and away we go. So do -si do is another really nice nude color. Um, it looks surprisingly great on my skin. I didn't think that I could go this light in a nude, but... Um, I kind of like this one. I'm gonna have to keep this one off to the side also. These cream stains have been an absolute fun um, color swatching test video. So I hope you're having as much fun as I am. 
These have just been an absolute surprise. Okay, our next cream stain is going to be Quick Step. Sounds like a lot of pressure, just in the name alone, Quick Step. Okay, Quick Step is another gonna be one of my faves. So it is a pretty nude. It goes well with my skin tone. Um, I am loving me some Quick Step Cream Stain. The more I keep trying these colors, the happier I get. Although we're down to the last one. So that's kind of sad for me all of a sudden. Okay, so for our last color, we have Waltz. Ooh, I'm loving me some Waltz also. That is so pretty. Marlena, you have done a great job. Makeup Geek, your products are always off the hook and amazing. So what do I say about these cream stain collections? Um, I am freaking in love with these cream stain collection. So the colors are beautiful. They, they work well. Um, the smell of these are really nice. It's almost got a hint of vanilla to it, or maybe it just smells like an ice um, icing for cake and so it does make you want to lick the wand as you are putting the cream stain on your lip so what um, when she says cream stain holy mackerel to do this um, this swatch test was at first I when I put on the first one and then I went to take it off I was like these things are not coming off how am I going to do a video uh, and literally swatch them on my lips versus just on my arms when I can't get this off my lip. So stain is a great word, which means a long lasting and I love me some long lasting. So how did I get those off to do the, um, the, the other swatches? I actually used a product um, that has a little bit of oil in it. And so that way I could kind of wipe it off with a baby wipe um, and, and get that off. So cream stain it is. So they don't transfer, the color stays. Um, what's nice is they're, like I've had some lipsticks that feel really drying. These with the word cream um, is very fitting because they do have a very creamy but they're not tacky if that makes sense so but then they don't transfer so you kind of have the best of all worlds with these cream stains by far I think out of her last four I think she's got four different types of lipsticks out um, I would say these are gonna be my favorite just because of the long wear they don't come off they feel good on the lip, they're not drying, and the colors are absolutely amazing. So if you haven't had a chance to pick up these cream stains, then I would say you better start shopping, my friend, because you are missing out on a great, great product. The other thing that I love about these is their sleek packaging. Um, it's so much fun to get something in a different type of package than just your traditional lipsticks and in, in, in the round package so the fact that her packaging is different I really like again the smell the wand the and the durability of these are amazing so again if you haven't had a chance to purchase these I'd say get on it Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.